Friday. I know. A rainy Friday in New York. <laughs> it's pouring rain. It is. Dark, cloudy. I kind of like it, though. Here we are. True to our friends. I know, and I did promise a ball gag, but we're going to do that at a later, later uh, date. Yeah, I'm sorry. I have to have something I really am dedicated to saying to put a gag on the kid, but <laughs> it's coming up. Definitely coming up. So this week I thought we'd talk about um, the clitoris and how you work out for sex because that's your masturbation is your workout for sex yes it's like a, a dancer working out at the bar exactly now this question comes to us from a woman who's a lesbian um, I've never liked oral sex and when anyone touches the head of my clit that little button it really really hurts is there something wrong chances are the only thing that's wrong is that she hasn't contact contacted her clitoris frequently enough, often enough. There was no mm -hmm. history of childhood masturbation. She's not masturbating now. Um, I want her to go to the to the part on the website where we talk about first time orgasm. First time, just search first time orgasm. It will come up. And it's it begins with how to a vulva massage. It's don't focus on your clitoris and don't focus on the orgasm. Nothing. Just do an overall yes. genital yes. massage. Get in touch with the entire vulva. And what feels good and how and when. It breaks my heart to think that lesbians are only focused on vaginal penetration. I guess. That's why I was thought this was so shocking. Because I thought, you know, I'm always oh. kind of intimidated by lesbians. I think they have better skills than I do. You know what it is? What? I bet it's since this stupid G-spot became so popular. Oh, maybe. So they do the curled fingers, but you still want to... To stimulate the clitoris with I the would, or something, I, I, you know what I mean? It's all good. With the other finger or with the thumb, <laughs> yeah, something. Yeah, as long as your thumb's there, I mean, you might as well do something. <laughs> so that's that's very important. I've had a lot of questions over the years about, you know, um, when I'm having intercourse, I can't combine clit stem with it because it's too sensitive. And it, that means that, or, or when my partner does it, he does it too hard, and we're unable. Without lubricant, that's the big problem, guys. Pick rough up fingers. Some, lube, some almond oil, health food store, just on yeah. the site, do it. Yeah. So it's this thing of, if we can't tell, it's more than speaking what you want. It's mm. showing him. Yes. Just take his hand and say, honey, this is what I want. And then you demonstrate. Gentle circle. Yes. And, and make sure it's wet and lots of oil or whatever mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and for you know for thousands of years of female repression it seems that we are unable to speak our minds so that's number one I use my Hitachi magic wand under a washcloth like you suggested that's Betty's technique I go to the edge 20 to 30 times before having an orgasm and it's great the rainbow ridge as you call it yeah but lately I'm crampy sensitive in my general area for a day or so am I doing any damage so she thinks she's overusing her Hitachi. Uh, you know, it's it, that really isn't enough information. Uh, how is she using it? How much pressure? Yeah, you shouldn't have to push on it. Ah. You should just let it like kind of glide over it with the vibration. It's, so I never push. Like another friend of mine, I found out that from day one she was using the vibrator on high. <laughs> She will remain nameless. You know, now I do low. I do at least one low just for you. And I'm like, this is for Betty. <laughs> I'm on low, Dodson. <laughs> and you know what? I usually appreciate the orgasm even more. So she's right. But sometimes I just want to pop off a couple of times really fast. And I then know. Do this spin. is your generation. The cramping could be she's holding her breath. It's an ex... Ooh. Yeah, because that means that the, the muscles aren't getting uh, oxygenated. And then you cramp. That makes total sense. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Does. it? Okay. Yes. That's so, probably yeah, it. Yeah, don't hold your breath. And the other thing is that she might want to shorten the number of orgasms, slow it down, and instead of having a bunch of little blips, kind of have one or two mm, more meaningful orgasms, which is stretching I'm trying it. trying to say my orgasms aren't meaningful. Darling. <laughs> I'm not saying that. No, she's just so sensitive. I can't tell you <laughs> how sensitive my business partner is. I'm sensitive. Don't put the vibrator directly on your clitoris and leave it there, too. Do not use pressure as the way to Push build. down. Yeah. As, yeah, no. If that's the way you're building up sexual tension, it's not good. Back Fantasize off a little bit more. Fantasize Get more. Get your head involved. You Do your pelvic movement. Breathe. breathe. Squeeze your PC muscles. All of those good things. Don't bear down. No, it's legs apart, too. Uh, My clit is gone. Oh. <laughs> it's receded far under the hood and I can't get it out. How can I get her to come out? 
Well, so, you, and she, uh, she feels like <laughs> you get one of those crowbars and uh, you light a match and let the smoke go. <laughs> That's terrible. Well, I, she thinks it's from too much vibrator play. Well, the truth is, the clitoris, marvelous, marvelous sex organ, when it gets stimulated, it does back up under the hood. That's what the hood is for. The hood is there to protect the. the and you don't have to have it, the clit pop out of the hood to have an orgasm. No, that some women have the clitoris glands that pops right out it's in other words she's mm -hmm. there in full view others have their clitoral glands up under the hood it's like anything in your body it varies by person <laughs> all the time Doing... and so that would be like a man who is not circumcised when he's not erect mm -hmm. you don't see the end of his penis yeah and when he gets erect it comes out it comes out the and there it is and i think that we have some similarities like that with my clitoris, clitoris doesn't come out every time and every so often it'll pop out and i'm like whoa there it is but i don't expect it to pop out every time i stimulate it no no yeah. as a matter of fact if you're really stimulated it's going to pull up. pull up yeah so that means you're really stimulated tell your boyfriend that <laughs> well and also here's the thing if if you're relying on your boyfriend to do your clitoral stimulation mm. it might make sense for you to take that over yourself and i want to know if you're having are you having orgasms because if you are then who cares thank you <laughs> <laughs> he can do it i can do it you can do it she can do it we can all do it together <laughs> so on a rainy day happy orgasms happy orgasms <laughs>